Uh, I can't imagine not wanting to do anything involved with Jeopardy. I offered to sweep the floors and they said, no, you can guest host. Uh, this is such an iconic and, and unbelievable piece of our collective culture. To be considered to be part of it really in any way is just, it, it's an immense honor, especially for someone who's dedicated so much of my life to academia, to knowing things and to being able to communicate things. I think being a woman of science, as I am, um, is something that I'm obviously very passionate about presenting myself as. I, I really didn't grow up with, with a lot of female role models. And um, I think, especially for young people, not just young girls, but for young girls and boys, to see that women can be scientists and can do these types of intellectual things, um, that feels very important to me. And, also, as a second generation American whose grandparents, you know, on one side never fully mastered the English language, it's just an unbelievable opportunity to see what in two generations my family has been able to see. Well, Alex Trebek was on Blossom, the show that I was on um, in the 90s. And that was really spectacular because at the time we were a young show and we were just trying to get guest stars who had notoriety and Alex was that. Um, I didn't get to interact with him, so it's not as exciting a Jeopardy story, but I have been a, a, an answer, um, I think more than once. And usually I get random texts in the middle of the night from relatives or friends saying, look, you were the answer on Jeopardy. So here I am. The charity that I chose is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. NAMI, and they provide support and resources and information and, and uh, all sorts of things that families of those living with mental illness need in order to support their loved one. It's an organization I've used uh, in my life for about 20 years and constantly refer people to them and their website and all of their resources, and this donation will mean so much to them. I think growing up with two crazy parents really made me uh, uh, equipped to do this. No, but honestly, when, when I think about the way that I was raised, you know, I was raised by two public school teachers who were documentary filmmakers and artists, you know, I was taught to learn as much as I could about everything. So honestly, it's really that that I feel like drives me. But I think being a, an actor and a performer is really, really helpful for this. But also being able to articulate all of these things, and I didn't do it perfectly, but being able to kind of think on your feet and think fast and move quickly, that's really just from being raised by my awesome parents. <laughs> my older son is the one who originally said, did you know they're looking for Jeopardy hosts? I saw on the internet that maybe you should find out. So he was really, really proud. He's very, very excited. And he, you know, at his age, knows kind of the, the impact of this show. Uh, my 12-year-old's a little less enthralled in general with me being in the industry, but I think he knows it's a very iconic thing. Um, and mostly he'll criticize what I look like, because that's what 12-year-olds do. Um, this is actually something that I, I felt instantly really passionate about, you know, um, much as women are accomplished in, in many fields and we've made so many changes in how we are represented and how we're seen, it's, it's by and large a confusing time, I think, still for women in terms of what we're expected to look like and what people think when we dress a certain way or don't. And for me, I really just wanted to look like the academic that I was trained to be. And to me, that does mean a certain amount of, of formality and, and decorum, and also, you know, in great respect to Alex Trebek, you know, the image I have of him is, is in a suit. It's, it's blazered up. So I really wanted to do my version of that, not because I'm trying to look like a man or because I want to look masculine. I wanted to choose things that, that were flattering and that I feel comfortable in, which as an actress, you almost never get to have those things. Um, and I also wanted to bring a little bit of flair, but not too much. <laughs> I think Amy would be the best contestant on Jeopardy really because of her, her broad knowledge and her, her attention to detail and her meticulousness as a human. But it also might be hilarious if she was completely terrified in front of cameras, in which case I'd probably <laughs> give it, I'd give it to Kat, my current character. I was terrified. I mean, every episode I was nervous. And part of it is as a performer, you know, nervous excitement is something that sort of fuels me. Uh, everywhere I go, um, but I'm also really, really, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, and as I get older, I find that I'm less and less perfect, but the notion of, of being detail-oriented, doing things correctly, doing them on time, seems to be a skill set that has really come in handy here. <laughs>